with an unmatched list of standard advanced driver assistance features, the 2017 Toyota Highlander is one of the best values in the midsize SUV class. Its interior is high-end and comfortable, and there's plenty of cargo space. Still, the Highlander falls short in some areas. Its third row is cramped, as are those in many seven-passenger midsize SUVs. It also has dull handling. Additionally, the Highlander's base engine is one of the weakest in the class, though it delivers above average fuel economy. A new optional V6 engine has better power, but the new transmission it's paired with doesn't always make good use of that power. The 2017 Highlander is a three-row SUV that has plenty of cargo space, a luxurious interior, and more standard active safety features, adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, and lane keep assist, among others, than any other SUV in this class. And with a starting price of $30,630, it's in line with its three-row competitors. It's a good buy with a lot of features. Compare the Highlander, Pilot, and 4Runner. The 2017 Toyota Highlander's talents are best experienced on the highway, where it can show off its quiet and comfort-biased ride. It doesn't excel at speedy acceleration, though, and isn't a nimble performer. Step up to a V6 model, and you'll get a midsize SUV that can tow more than most in the class. Acceleration and power. The 2017 Highlander comes standard with the same 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine and six-speed automatic transmission as the 2016 model. This 185-horsepower engine has done little to impress critics over the years, with uninspiring acceleration. Its only saving grace is its above-average fuel economy estimation of 20 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. Test drivers cautiously endorse the Highlander's other powertrain, a newly issued 3.5-litre V6 engine mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's more powerful than the Highlander's previous V6, 219 5 horsepower versus 270, and more fuel efficient. Initial estimates range from 19 miles per gallon city slash 26 miles per gallon highway with all-wheel drive to 21 city slash 27 highway with front-wheel drive. The V6 is available in the base Highlander, comes standard in all other models, along with a new stop-start system to save fuel, and is the preferred Highlander powertrain. You'll be able to safely merge onto the highway with the V6, and it keeps enough power in reserve to overtake slower traffic. The transmission sometimes labors to find the right gear, however. The 2017 Highlander is cool and collected on the highway, little road noise seeps into the cabin, and the softer suspension treats travelers to a smooth ride. Its easy steering and strong brakes give drivers a feeling of confidence, but only if they keep the Highlander within its comfort zone. Taking corners too fast tends to induce body lean. Handling and braking, front wheel drive is standard in the 2017 Highlander. All models with the V6 engine can be upgraded to all-wheel drive. These same models also come standard with a tour package that enables the Highlander to tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is very high for this class. The interior of the 2017 Toyota Highlander shows off its familiar link to its upscale sister brand with high-grade materials and an abundance of features that give this midsize SUV a Lexus-like quality. A plethora of standard tech and safety features, along with two rows of roomy, enjoyable seats, add to the Highlander's appeal. The rear quarters are the bane of the Highlander, its third row is cramped, and the fixed cargo hold is middling. Seating, the base trim level for the 2017 Highlander seats 8, with bench seats in the second and third row. Both seats have a 60-40 split, can fold flat, and can recline for improved passenger comfort. The second row seats also slide. The XLE, say, Limited, and limited platinum edition seat 7 and come standard with captain's chairs in the second row, though this can be switched out in the limited and limited platinum for a bench seat. The Highlander's seats provide a good amount of room and comfort, unless you're riding in the third row seat. Here, larger passengers will be uncomfortable with a below average amount of legroom. Upholstery options include cloth fabric, which is standard, synthetic leather, basic leather, and perforated leather. Heated and ventilated front seats. Heated second row seats, only outboard seats are heated in the available bench seat, and an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat are also available. Interior features, there are latch systems installed in both the second and third rows, but car seat installation is much more difficult in the third row due to the tighter space. However, 
The two sets of lower rankers found in the second row outboard seats are easy to access since the row can slide back. Toyota's Incheon interface powers the Highlander's infotainment system and comes with five USB ports, Bluetooth, Siri Eyes Free, and six speakers. This system is straightforward once you are familiar with it, though it peculiarly lacks a shortcut button to the navigation system, which is standard in every Highlander except the Basler trim. The Highlander comes standard with a 6.1 inch touchscreen, and an 8 inch touchscreen is available. Other knobs and buttons are easy to reach, say reviewers who also praise the Highlander's uncluttered layout. Cargo, C2017 Toyota Highlander Specs.